As Sergey Brin rejoined Google, the Wall Street Journal says that Sergey Brin, a co-founder of Google, has returned to the company's headquarters to work on the Gemini project alongside members of the artificial intelligence team. He claims that Google views this project as essential to the expansion of AI throughout the company. Since returning to Mountain View, Sergey Brin, a co-founder of Google, has reportedly been stopping by the company's office frequently. According to the Wall Street Journal, Brin, who left his senior role at the company in 2019, has been coming in three to four days a week for several months to work with academics who are developing Google's AI model, Gemini. Sundar Pichai, who is currently the CEO of Alphabet, took over control of the company after Larry Page and Sergey Brin both resigned from their post as Alphabet executives in December 2019. Page and Brin both still serve on the company's board of directors. According to the journal, Brin has been very active at Gemini and has scheduled weekly meetings with staff members to discuss recent advancements in AI research. Reports claim that Brin has also been involved in hiring decisions, such as those of prized researchers. The Alphabet Properties, Charleston East Building, where Pachai also has an office, has undergone the most remodeling. Pachai appears to have supported Brin's efforts. Google is also in danger of falling behind its competitors due to the quickly evolving AI field and Brin's well-known enthusiasm for it. In December, the New York Times reported that Pichai had allegedly issued a code red in response to ChatGPT's debut, leading to Brin and Page being requested for help with the AI program. The newspaper reported at the time that Google intended to launch more than 20 new products in 2023 to compete with the OpenAI service and show off the chatbot features of its search engine. Google must now worry about a number of other recently released AI technologies in addition to ChatGPT, such as Meta's Llama 2 which was developed in cooperation with Microsoft. Sergey Brin, one of Google's co-founders, was away from the business Mountain View, California offices for a sizable amount of time. He has fallen behind key Google executives in recent years, most notably CEO Sundar Pichai. Brin, however, is back in aiding Google's AI endeavors now that the situation is altered. What has Sergey Brin's role been at Google during the last few years since he had stopped working on a daily basis? Well, he and Larry Page, the other Google co-founder, shared a board position, and they continue to control the bulk of the company's voting rights. They have little to no daily involvement with the firm after departing their senior post in 2019. Several reports claim that Sergey works at least three to four days a week. Furthermore, it appears that he spends a lot of time with experts who are working on the Gemini project and are researching artificial intelligence. This project is special because Google has already developed these massive AI systems. Gemini is anticipated to be bigger and better than any of them. Therefore, Sergey sits among those researchers, posing questions, leading evaluations of recent advances in AI, and most significantly, aiding in the hiring of some of the most renowned professionals in the area. Google really frames it as extremely important. The objective is to basically create this really powerful, all-purpose AI model that can be utilized for a variety of tasks. According to what we know, Google plans to make this available before the end of the year, making text in the style of Google's Bard or GPT, or even making images and perhaps videos. Google has stated that it is a multimodal, which is just another way of saying that it is a multimedia. You could therefore envision this kind of AI system controlling every aspect of Google's operations, such as the primary search engine, as well as YouTube, Gmail, and other services. When did Brin's involvement resume? Brin became interested in the company at the end of the previous year and gradually got back into it. He and Larry, their other co-founder, participated in various meetings with CEOs to talk about AI technologies. However, over the past three months, Sergey in particular has been seen a lot more frequently. What are the details of the heightened activity? That's sort of the million dollar question because he seems ecstatic about this time in artificial intelligence. His final shareholder letter from 2018 focused solely on AI and how it was the biggest leap in computation in his lifetime, showing that he was interested. Do we understand the opinions of Google, his employer, and the other people he works with in his presence? He doesn't seem to be extremely educated about all the technical details of the most advanced AI, from what we hear. He isn't actually participating in these initiatives and, you know, having a significant impact on the coding utilized in them or any technical concerns. However, it appears that his employees are happy to see him. It's exciting to be around a man who is a co-founder of one of the biggest internet companies ever, as well as sort of a famous computer scientist. He also acts in a capacity similar to a mascot for the AI researchers engaged in this massive project. He is there to cheer them on, check in on their development, and help them get over challenges. We understand that Sundar Pichai, the CEO, extends a cordial greeting to him as well. They will unavoidably be concerns when someone like Sergey returns and doesn't really have an official role but is still around, owns all the shares in the company, and emits this menacing aura. 
It will therefore be interesting to examine how that changes over time. Did Brandon cover all the details of his return? Not at all. No. Our request for a comment from Bryn's spokeswoman was not answered, but Google did. The business says he does not have a new official title. He currently solely serves as a board member and co-founder. Does Larry Page have any role? What are the rumors going around the AI office regarding Larry Page, the other co-founder? Has he recently become more involved? Larry attended some of the same AI sessions in the latter part of the last year. But aside from that, no one has really noticed Larry around the offices the way Sergey has. Even in the type of tech social setting, Larry has traditionally been a little more reclusive than Sergey due to a rare vocal cord paralysis that has had some effect on his public profile throughout the years. Despite the fact that ChatGPT has undoubtedly captured everyone's attention, Google's most recent announcement at the Google I.O. event were absolutely incredible. The tech giant's most recent advancement in AI, along with the much-awaited launch of Google Pixel devices, astounded the audience. DeepMind, a Google-owned research institute, makes the bold claim that the performance of OpenAI's work will be rivaled, if not surpassed, by its upcoming Gemini AI large language model. Demis Hassabis, CEO of DeepMind, estimates that the creation of Gemini AI costs hundreds of millions of dollars. This significant investment shows Google's unwavering commitment and the enormous resources dedicated to the AI system. Google is encouraged by their unwavering backing since they believe Gemini AI will outperform ChatGPT's upcoming GPT-4 model. After its artificial intelligence program, AlphaGo defeated a top-level Go player in 2016. DeepMind became well-known. Hassabis revealed that his group is employing revolutionary techniques from AlphaGo to create Gemini AI. A comparable to ChatGPT, GPT-4 is the large-scale language model, Gemini AI, which is currently being developed. By combining the strategic thinking and problem-solving abilities of AlphaGo with Gemini AI, Asibis and his team are taking things a step further. Fundamentally, Gemini AI consists of the next-generation AI architecture ready to replace Google's current Palm 2 AI model. This paradigm now supports a number of Google's AI services, including the popular Bard chatbot and the widely used Duet AI in workspace apps. In an effort to exceed ChatGPT4, Google is investing a lot of money in developing Gemini AI as a superior successor. Gemini AI's objective goes beyond merely reproducing GPT-4 and other existing models. Higher capabilities rather than similar performance is the aim. Gemini AI is likely to make use of advancements in reinforcement learning to address issues with current language models. As the market for generative AI becomes increasingly competitive, Google's ready to show off its true capabilities with the launch of Gemini AI. Google is attempting to secure a market launch after learning crucial lessons from Bard's hurried debut. By 2030, the generative AI industry is anticipated to reach a value of $109.37 billion, sparking heated rivalry for market dominance. In order to alter the industry, Google is preparing to unleash the full potential of Gemini AI and shape the direction of text analyzing AI solutions. With its continued development, Gemini is turning into a project of enormous interest. Gemini's potential success could change the AI industry and set previously unheard of criteria for AI capabilities. Until the final version is created and put to the test in real-world scenarios, it's unclear if it will outperform ChatGPT and other AI systems. That's all for today. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications. Also, express your valuable thoughts in the comment section below. Until then, bye. Also, spend some time watching other videos on the channel.